Well, tonight's matchup will return Darlington Nagby to his roots. Columbus about two hours away from Cleveland, a place he and his wife's family still calls home. Dee's immediate family is growing too with baby number two. That life changer is on top of officially becoming a United States citizen, something that the 25 year old from Liberia now can earn a U.S. national team call up seemingly sooner rather than later. Like to get back inside, Jorge Villafania, wide open on the left. This is for Nagby. Yes, 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 yes. Going to Nagby, a U.S. Mm -hmm. citizen, means what to you? Uh, it means a lot, especially because of my mom and where she came from and what she had to go through just for us to get here, you know? And uh, I feel like it's a bigger deal for her for me to have my citizenship than for anyone else. Yeah, you weren't even one years old when mm -hmm. she took you out of the Civil War in mm -hmm. Liberia, right? You Correct. got moved around, mm -hmm. um, eventually settling in Ohio. But mm -hmm. uh, first reaction from mom is what when, mm -hmm. you, when you tell her the news? Uh, saying a little bit, uh, jumping up and down. Uh, but uh, overall, she was excited, cried a little bit, and uh, yeah, she's excited for her kid. What kind of quizzing, I mean, questions, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't, we take yeah. it for granted that we're U.S. US citizens mm -hmm. and a lot of the stuff we learned in grade school so many years mm -hmm. ago, I couldn't even probably pass the test. Mm -hmm. How much studying did you do to prepare mm -hmm. to go in there and get it done? Uh, probably about a month before, 100 questions. Uh, they only ask you 10, but you need to get 6 out of 10, correct, but uh, I studied them maybe uh, every other night, and uh, you probably know about a third of them already, then... Uh, the rest of the two thirds, uh, you just study and go over them. Like mm -hmm. such as what? Uh, what was one? Ones that you'd already know, probably like why do we have uh, the 50 stars on the flag? Uh, why do we have the 13 uh, stripes? Those things like that. Uh, holidays, which we already know, and some that I didn't know, uh, which I probably should have known. Uh, like who's your representative uh, for your it's district? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know that to be honest. Uh, yeah, so just little questions like that. Yeah, cool. Um, and then uh, being able to celebrate back at home with mm -hmm. your wife and daughter, mm -hmm. uh, they helped you study too, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, wife definitely. Uh, Mila, no. Uh, always, I had a uh, download on my phone, so she just tried to rip my phone away from me. So she didn't help me study, but my wife did. Just uh, maybe going before bed at night, before I went to bed, or just driving around, she'd read off the questions to me. Mm -hmm. Test anxiety. I mean, I have mm -hmm. it. A lot of people have it. Yeah. Something you deal with? Yeah, I feel like that's the biggest uh, thing, pretty much. Uh, not being nervous when you get in there. And uh, I had a real nice gentleman that was interviewing me, so he made the process really calm and really easy. Did he know you were Darlington Nagby of the Portland Timbers? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, but he was uh, he was cool. He didn't mention anything, but yeah, yeah he was a real nice guy. What does it mean to you mm -hmm. and your family, though, going forward mm -hmm. in the rest of your adult life to mm -hmm. be a U.S. citizen? U.S. citizen. What does it grant you? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say just more freedom and more ease of mind. Uh, just traveling, you know, you get more rights. Uh, the country kind of opens up to you a little bit more with things that you can do with, uh, in regards to things that you couldn't do. So uh, I'm excited for that and uh, to keep my life going. Yeah, and excited in your life too, having mm -hmm. another baby. You have the over a year old me yeah. and daughter is are expecting a boy in the middle mm -hmm. of December. Uh, you're excited to be a, a dad to a mm -hmm. boy? Or what's, what's the feeling like back at home? Uh, I'm, I'm excited, you know. Uh, I feel like no matter where you're excited, but uh, it being a boy since we're having a girl, I was even more excited. And uh, I'm just ready to, for him to come out, you know, see what he's like and see what he's going to look like, which is, I think, is weird, you know. You get a second kid and you expect it to look exactly the same as, a, as your previous one, but uh, you never know. Any advice people have told mm -hmm. you how, I mean, life changes with one kid mm -hmm. and you get two, mm -hmm. you, you're playing you're playing man-to-man -man defense there. Yeah, I mean, obviously not as much freedom. You know, we can take uh, Mila out to a restaurant or something like that and she'll just sit there You won't and, be going to restaurants eat. for a while. <laughs> yeah, so... Just little things like that, maybe get family coming out a little bit more, uh, more help uh, for my wife when I'm on the road. But yeah, two is definitely a game changer.